we'll put it back on and we'll do our thing. The uh, pencil sketch you're going to see, you won't see. It'll be too light on the photo. I've already got my paint mixed. Now, what I can do is I put a bit of a horizon in here. What would you do? Put that bush there, a little bit of a channel down through there. Mm -hmm. We can put them up there. A couple of trees there. Fly around with the sky for a minute. Now, remember, imagine this. this is what this is. You made jaw nation. I'm using nature. I'm using nature. And my ability, which is not that great, the colour, to design a little painting, something to do. Good practice for it. Big. Right, let's get a nice little bit of blue sky. We'll make it blue, nice and rich.
Yeah, I'll take all the rules. All the rules are great to me. You know, using the white. And, uh, but I'm still happy, I'm still enjoying this paint and this paint is still working. Okay, we're gonna put that back up there put it down in there so we don't get any too much oil paint on the front okay. when I'm only breaking all the rules <coughs> you know I'm just washing in with a thin light it's creamy mm -hmm. not white in it but I think um, you know, I don't mind doing my skies that way in here. You know, it mixes the white in with the uh, with the blues and that. It makes it easy to make greys and the uh, and the foreground and the ground itself. It's got to be changed a million times. Anyhow, really, I'm just covering the canvas. You know, the green, the grass is green, so it's green. The sky's blue, and blue and, and grey. Playing with the basic colours. And, um, and we'll get there uh, 
eventually just molding things around like I'm doing there and uh, yeah it's a bloody magic feel a very good feel Yeah, next time um, I'll have the camera up showing you where, where the spot is <laughs> that I'm painting. I've got a photo of it, but uh, I, to be quite honest, I can't find it. I don't know whether I've uh, uh, block, uh, you know, cut them off my bloody thing when I've been doing my photos, but I'll have a look. Um, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know, the idea of coming out tonight and uh, doing a bit of painting was just the idea of uh, composition, colour uh, and moving a bit of paint around and enjoying the fact that I could paint. Um, beautiful. Yeah, I'm coming out a little bit too early. I'll, uh, there was no colour around on this painting that I was doing here, but the other one I was doing, there, it, was, it was time to go to the meeting and it was just starting to come out. So I've got to... I've got a tiny bit of uh, pink in my clouds mm. on the on the second one. Um, but anyway. <sighs> yeah, I keep forgetting sometimes that you can't see really through me. Um, you know, blocking me painting while I'm painting, but uh, yeah. The, the shed that I'm putting in here uh, doesn't even exist. There's a house and a couple of sheds in the caravan. And uh, all I was particularly interested in was in the roof of the house. That's all you could see, but in time, I've eventually turned it into an old, uh, an old sort of broken down house and uh, put a little shed out on the, uh, on the right of that, that house. Um, and so the paintings changed as you go along, you know, and uh, your imagination and the way you feel about painting and the composition and all that stuff. And uh, I, I just love it, you know, it really it passes my time. You know, I mean, I've been out here for the last three or four hours. I've just come out too early, a little bit too early. And uh, I, I took a few photos and stuff on the way out. I was only in particularly just going to have one or two uh, nice shaped trees and have the uh, sunset in the back but where I'm looking now I'm facing west and there's that much stuff in front of me and trees and stuff that I can't really see the horizon so uh, I'm making this up as I go getting a feeling as the sun's going down and getting a feeling moving my paint around so and that's what it's all about yeah if anyone wants to know, uh, I'm doing a bit of a chuckle in there and stuff as uh, the flies. You can see the little black spots on the net, on the picture sometimes. And uh, it's cattle country, sheep country. There's cattle right around me, sort of thing. So it's, uh, yeah, there's a few fly bug, uh, uh, flies around and crickets and things like that. Um, but anyhow, that's part of life. Part of, part of nature's work. And it's lovely country out here at uh, Um There's some uh, beautiful old spots here with some beautiful dead trees that I got a storm, a photo of storms and that uh, oh, a few weeks ago now 
and uh, I may even do a picture of that painting of that I might do a bigger one of that uh, I've got a nice big red gum frame I might put, put one in I think that'll look good in that um, and uh, it'll be one of my bigger paintings and you know uh, yeah so oh, these these are lovely little paintings and uh, they'll sit on the shelf when I'm down at the boat ramp I'm sure they'll go and um, you know but they, more than anything they're beautiful exercises for me uh, getting out and watch the sun go down it's taken a couple of days a couple of days of rain we've had and as soon as I thought about going to paint the sunset all it done was rain for two days and uh, I finally got that day and I went out yesterday and I'd go to the meeting and went over there to Neil. I thought I'd you know, take the paints and trail over and do a little bit of do a little bit of painting over there while the sun goes down. It's just magic time for the going out to that meeting. We've had storms near tornadoes, bloody lampposts and bloody trees pulled down. Um, yeah, it's just a magic little spot. So um, you know. I'll make a I won't make a habit of it, going to meet and stealing it, but uh, I just thought I'd do it this week. But, uh, well, I can't help myself when I go, when, even when I'm going to meetings. When I go to meetings, uh, I get that time riding of the night time, so I'm seeing the sun going down all the time. At certain times of the year, you know, because I go here quite often. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, so it, it, uh, yeah, look, I enjoy doing these frames too. It's just an old, bloody old frame. It's got a stamp in there from a from a place from a framer in Melbourne. Um, and I've left the stamp. It's nearly torn off this part of it, part of it on there. And um, and I've just put a little uh, white in it. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Bloody um, slip in the in the frame. And. Um, and it'll suit, suit the painting, you know. Going bloody spending money on expensive bloody stuff or plastic frames, you know. I'm, I'm not into that sort of stuff. Uh, I love recycle. I like recycle too, because I don't like seeing it getting burnt and thrown away. And uh, the majority of this stuff that I use is uh, destined for the tip and burnt, thrown out, rubbish. So I feel like I'm a bit of a recycler, timber recycler, saving the trees too. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, and by the way, um, you know, I've been making the frame for a lot of years, probably 25, 26, 27 years. Uh, you know, uh, making them out of recycled frames and red gum, hand, hand carved. <coughs> uh, I just love that stuff. My grandfather had a at a sawmill that uh, you know used to cut his wood and stuff like that and um, yeah I've got a bit of wood in me at the same, uh, a bit of a woody person myself you know but I don't like I don't like cutting down trees that are unnecessary and stuff like that I'm not stupid but you know I feel like I'm a bit of a tree, a tree saver here with uh, recycled timber you know preserving the stuff you know, it's, just, mm. it's just ridiculous that it should be thrown out and bloody burnt you know and it's just absolutely ludicrous you know so um but but it fills me in time too when i'm not painting you know so mm -hmm. i've always got a few paints that i can work with the frames you know certain paintings where i feel like frame and i'll i might get a, you know three or four paintings at a time where I, I want to frame and it just makes it all interesting and um you know i haven't been on youtube or done much on youtube but uh, you know, I'll try and do a little bit. Uh, there's obviously a few people out there that don't mind listening to me uh, or that looking at the painting. And you know, I think I've got a bit to give too, really. I so I love, you know, I love the feeling is what I get out of painting, you know. And um, you know, that callous feeling, you know, with uh, you know, paintings feeling and it you know like and the same thing with the people who buy the paintings they're on the same wavelength you know um they have the same feeling you know they love nature and they love love a good painting that's, that's been put together it's unique 
you know, you know, it's only one first that's done it. I mean, no one's been sitting here alongside me painting this picture. This is the only, well, this is the only painting uh, of this painting of the Neil that, that I know of um, on the planet. You know, it's as unique as a grain of sand. You know, people don't understand it, you know, and, um, yeah, you know, I'm talking painting too, not uh, lines and, and, and uh, you know, scribbles and stuff like that. I'm, talk I'm talking about painting, I'm about the painting landscapes. Uh, you know, I'm painting something that that I feel is really good. Look, abstract, uh, all that stuff, so fine. You want to get a cannon and blow it on your paint or whatever you do, fine. You know, and I, I'm not contesting to be a... Uh, the greatest painter, but I, I certainly love what I do, and I've been painting for a long time, you know, and I'm never going to get where I want to get, so wherever that is I want to get, but I love the fact that I love the, uh, to enjoy the idea of getting wherever I'm trying to get, you know what I mean? Um, it is such a magic feeling to be moving paint around, designing a little painting, and uh, man, it's a challenge, it's, it's just a beautiful way to wake up in the morning, you know? think well what am I going to do I'm going to work on a couple of my bigger paintings today bit of train and all will I go down the river or go and sell a few uh, you know going yeah it's just just really really interesting yeah and you can go out you can go out for two or three hours or just any time of the day if I'm in the mood and I just say I'll just spray the paints on the trail and I'm out I'm gone you know I'm going to do one or two paintings and, uh, and if it was a brilliant spot, you know, I'd just sleep in the bloody car on the spot and so I'd get what I want. Um, you know, so, <coughs> yeah. But I, but most of all, it is like uh, like with painters, we've got to keep keep your, um, you know, it's like playing a guitar yeah. or something like that. You've got to keep practicing your stuff. You go a bit, you go a bit rusty. But I, it's probably like ride the bike day too, I suppose. Once you, once you do get to a certain wherever you are, you never forget that, you know. So, but I guess if you're not really doing it all the time, um, you know, it's just like the bloke going down and building up his muscles down the gym. You know, you do the same thing when you're creating mm -hmm. buds in your muscles, in your, in your brain, you know. Like, uh, you see, and you're seeing things different all the time. <coughs> and, um, yeah, it's just a, it's just a magic thing. I love that word, magic. And, um, but anyway, I'll be up all night with this one if I go to download it. It'll probably take you all to download because I think it's a 20 minutes, 28 minutes, half hour. I don't know when you're going to sit and watch it all, but, but there might be the, uh, the odd pain to see that are learning, you know, that are uh, uh, just interested in getting a feel. It's not only that, it's giving people a bit of inspiration in uh, getting the feeling to do the stuff, you know. Um, you know, because there's a lot of different ways to paint the picture. There's no rules and regulations. It's how you feel when you're doing, the, doing your thing. And, and I guess it's the same thing with someone that does abstract, contemporary, whatever. You know, if you want to get a cannon and blow it on there or blow it on the canvas, Oh, you know, like, if you want to paint dots, you paint dots, you know, like, um, you know, I guess these people, uh, I'm sure they, they get a feeling, good feeling doing it, or, um, you know, uh, <coughs> well, I hope they do, anyway, anyway um, yeah, look, I'm still playing around, I'm still moving, and I could do this for hours. You could do this for hours if you want to, you know, I mean, obviously we, we're not going to, you know, I'm not going to get what I want today. Um, you know, I've had the sitting out at the, out at Manila to get it to this stage. And now I, and I've done a, I've worked on this again today in the studio at home. Um, and I've actually finished it. I, I, I think I've finished it anyway. I don't think I'm going to do any more to it. But, uh, but there'll be another 28 minute segment of this and uh, or around about that I think and, uh, but you'll notice in this painting when it's finished there's a tyre I'll put on to the left hand side of the picture and the actual tyre was there so it pulls the painting together with the area 
Um, you know, I'll, I'll always remember that tie, that tie will go, or okay, well, eventually, it looks like it's been here a bloody long time, mate. Um, it pulls the painting together up. Uh, you know, if anyone buys the painting and that, and I say it was done here, it was done there, well, it was done there. And, and, uh, and it's, got a, it's got trees that are in the same area. The balance of the whole, the, uh, the composition, if you've seen the picture, you would see what, I, what I've been getting at to do the painting. Um, and this is a bit earlier, this is earlier than the one that I, the other one I've done, too. Uh, the other one I've done has got shadows coming across in front. Uh, you know, from where the sun's getting down real low and breaking through the trees. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but I, you know, look, I'm happy. I'm happy where it is. I'm happy where the name is. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah. We've got a, a little... Yeah, and here I'll put that little shed on the uh, right hand side. Just a little shed to pull the, pull the composition together a bit. It looks a bit fair with just a big block of house over one side there. You know, it's typical to have an old shed or something around the house somewhere um, in those old places. So that's what I've done. And, and you know, I, I think, you know, at, at the end, of, I, I've used a bit of black and blue in here. I had a little bit, of, I got a little bit of black there, and I thought I'll use that. Uh, get a little bit of dark, get a really dark value going there. Um, Whacking in a couple of fences, fence posts. Um, trying to get some sort of balance with a little bit of stuff moving around the place before I uh, pack up for this section the section of this painting, you know, I don't really want to go too much further. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so a couple more little strokes and uh, yeah, a couple little some pieces over there. I think it's one of those things that they tie the horses up to, uh, part of a fence or something. And uh, yeah, uh, oh, oh man, did I yawn? What's the time here? God, it's quarter of eleven already in Australia, Victoria, Echuca, uh -huh. up on the Murray, over the road from Moama in New South Wales, right on the border. Uh, a lot of nice country around, a lot, a lot of nice change in country at the moment.